Good day to you. I'm Pastora Rose and welcome to Jesus, Our Healer. Today, we want to remind ourselves of some of the wonderful promises that the Lord has for us regarding healing. To start with, let's read Acts chapter 3, verse 6. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Acts chapter 3, verse 16. And his name, by faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and now. And the faith that is through Jesus has given the man this perfect health in the presence of you all. Acts 16, verse 18. And this she kept doing for many days. Paul, having become greatly annoyed, turned and said to the Spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her, and it came out that very hour. In 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 4, When you are assembled in the name of our Lord Jesus, my spirit is present with the power of the Lord Jesus. We believe that there is healing in Jesus' name. There is power in Jesus' name. So right now, as we pray for your healing, I want you to lay your hands on the part of your body that is sick. And in Jesus' name, we believe that you will receive your healing. Now, if you are very well in your body, but you have someone, a friend or a relative who is sick and they are with you, I want you to lay your hands on them and let's join our faith together for their complete healing. Let us all pray. Father, we thank you so much, oh God, because you are our healing Jesus. And yes, Lord, there is healing in your name, oh God. Lord, your name says, oh God, that you are our Jehovah Rapha, our greatest physician, that you are the Lord, our healer. So God, we pray for every sick person right now, God, those people, oh God, who are here, they have high blood pressure. God, in Jesus' name, that high blood pressure is getting normal. Lord, even those people with diabetes, increased blood sugar, even that blood sugar, oh God, is getting normal. That very high fever, oh God, we ask in Jesus' name that you're going to touch that fever, oh God, and let it leave their bodies, oh God. Lord, we even pray for those people, oh God, who have problems in their lungs, problems in their breathing, oh God. Thank you, God, that you're going to give them strong lungs in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, oh God, that the breath of life will just flow in their bodies right now, that there will be no more difficulty and no more pain, oh God, in breathing. Even, Lord, those people who are awaiting for the result of their x-rays, God, in Jesus' name, let your miracle flow. And we are believing, oh God, for good report, God, that says they are healed indeed in Jesus' name. And God, we even pray for those people, oh God, who are suffering from bone problems, oh God. Lord, those people who cannot move their arms, their knees, oh God, all those joint pains, Lord, in Jesus' name, that arthritis, that rayuma, those gout, Lord God, we ask God in Jesus' name, Lord, let your healing flow and remove all the pain away, God. And we even remember, God, those people who have COVID-19. Thank you so much, oh God. They will receive the wonderful result that this time, this time, oh God, as you touch them, they will finally get that swab result and it will be negative in Jesus' name. That that COVID will be out of their system out of their body, oh God. And Lord, we even ask, oh God, that you're going to cause our children, oh God, who are suffering from toothache, oh God, the stomach problem, oh God, diarrhea, LBM, all this pain for our children. We thank you so much, oh God, that every disease, every sickness is healed right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God is so good. Receive your healing right now, even as we spend time in worship.
Amen. Yes, all we need is the Lord. When we have the Lord, when we have Jesus, we have everything that we need. We can receive healing in the Lord. We can receive miracle in the Lord. Let's continue to read some of the promises of God regarding healing. In Acts chapter 10, verse 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. In Luke 5, verse 17, one of those days as he was teaching, the Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with him to heal. In Luke chapter 4, verse 40, Now when the sun was setting, all those who had any who were sick with various diseases brought them to him and he laid hands on every one of them, and He healed them. God is the one who's going to heal you right now. And looking at these verses that we have just read, God's power is present to heal. So wherever you are right now, believe that the power of the Lord is with you to heal you and to restore your body to health. Let us all pray for your healing. Father, we thank you so much, O oh God, that you are our healer and that by your wounds, O oh God, we are healed in Jesus' name. And we believe, Lord, that you are our all-powerful, almighty God. And with man, God, a lot of things are impossible, but with you, God, nothing is impossible. So, Lord, right now, we want to pray specifically for those people who have been sick, oh God, and they have been, they have had this sickness for a very long time. For some of them, Lord, or doctors even told them it's going to be a lifetime disease. Lord, we thank you so much, oh God, that you are the giver of life, that healing comes from you, God. It's not your will for your people to receive this, what they say, their lifetime disease, oh God. Lord, let that sickness and right now, in Jesus' name, oh God, those allergies, oh God, it's gonna be, it's gonna be healed, oh God, in Jesus' name. Those hypertension, those heart problems, they've been receiving and getting all this maintenance drugs, oh God, Lord, in Jesus' name. Touch their bodies, oh God. Thank you so much, oh God, that even that asthma, God, is going away from their bodies, oh Lord. God, we believe, Lord Jesus, that when you heal us, you heal us completely, oh God. And even as we are lifting up the name of our sick friend, our sick family member, our sick relative, we thank you so much, oh God, wherever they are, God. They may be abroad, they may be in the province. We know, Lord Jesus, Jesus, there is no distance in prayer, oh God. So Lord, we ask God for your mercy to flow upon them right now, God. Lord, we ask that you would reach out to them wherever they are and cause them, Lord, to experience Experience that you are real, that you heal today, oh God, that your power is at work to heal, Lord Jesus. So God, wherever we are, oh God, we ask in Jesus' name, oh God, reach out to those people, oh God, as they are reaching out to you, God, let them receive their healing. This we pray in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let us open up our hearts in worship and let's continue to declare the name of Jesus. Jesus is our healer. Hello, COP. Let's worship the Lord together. Let's thank God in yes, even God. now. He is healing. He is moving. Oh, he is doing miracles right now. Oh, um. 
Amen and amen. In Jesus' name, we receive healing from the Lord. Thank you so much for joining us today in Jesus Our Healer. And we believe that even at this moment, the Lord is healing you and touching you completely. We are looking forward to all the wonderful testimonies as Jesus Our Healer gives you your healing and your miracle. God bless you. See you again tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Jesus Our Healer